Hello and welcome to Industrial Cleaning Equipment's training video on the Tasky 455 Swingo. The maintenance-free gel batteries are located directly underneath the clean water tank in a sealed unit. To charge the machine, simply remove the Anderson cable from the rear of the machine and connect to the external charger. To attach the squeegee bar, please squeeze the clips together and lift the bar into position. Please ensure the vac hose is connected properly for optimum suction. To remove the squeegee bar, simply press the two clips at the rear of the machine and disconnect the vac hose. Please ensure the squeegee bar is kept clean and clear from debris after every use. To attach the brush or pad to the machine, simply put into position, lift underneath the drive board, turn and lock into place. To remove the paddle brush, simply turn the other way. This machine takes a 17 inch pad or brush. To fill the clean water tank, simply lift the lid and remove the dosing container. You can either use a hose to fill or a bucket on the other side. The recovery tank is located at the front of the machine. Please ensure this is cleaned out and washed through after every use and that the debris tray is also removed and kept clear. The clean water tank has a capacity of 22 litres and the recovery tank can hold 25. To empty the recovery tank, simply detach the hose, remove the lid and pour away. The dirty water filter is located on the underside of the lid. To remove, simply turn, pull off. This filter needs to be cleaned after every use. The clean water filter is located at the back left of the machine. Simply turn and remove. This should be cleaned every two to three days. To operate the machine, simply lift the handle back to a comfortable working position using the lever under here. Ensure the scrub deck is down using the foot pedal at the rear and the squeegee bar is also down using the kick plate at the back. To turn on the machine, simply hold down on the power button, the water, hit the vacuum switch and simply squeeze the two triggers at the rear of the machine.